I can put you on, can play for my team Girl, you got what I need Us always hey. Look, we was doing good, now we doing better This love I got for you too much, I can't measure New cars, new crib, we look good together It's us always, but I'm thinking that's forever Girl, you got what I need Racing for your love, I'm going high speed I can put you on, can play for my team Once you get a taste, you tell me don't leave After all this time and money that I spent with you I was still going to place the highest bid with you Girl, you're perfect, I'ma have my first kid with you If it's up, then it's stuck, I'ma live with you yeah. Thank you, Current, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Finances are confusing and overcomplicated, but Current keeps it simple and secure. Manage your money your way on mobile. If you guys do not know what Current is, Current is a mobile app and debit card that allows you to spend money and also save money your way. Current gives you the technology to create something that is yours. You'll be able to have customizable saving pods and points for cash back where you shop. So to get started with Current, guys, make sure to click the link in our description. So thank you again, Current, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications. That way you're notified every time we post a new video. So good morning, guys. Aiden is a little bit pissed because we did have to wake him up, get him dressed. We do have a busy morning, guys. We do have to go to our chiropractor appointment right now. That's why we had to wake up Zayden and get him all dressed and ready to go. I already um, packed the diaper bag. But we're gonna head out right now, guys, and then we're just gonna take you guys along our day. See, that looks, oh, there's a little bird. Good job, my love. Good job. I put him on his little beanie because it is freaking cold today. Zayden is stretchy. Look at how cute he looks. He looks so cute, my love. Zayden is ready. I did take off his beanie because when he does get mad and cries in here, he gets like super freaking sweaty. Ready, my love? Tell daddy, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just got done at the chiropractor and I feel like a brand new woman. How do you feel? I got my thing ready to go. <laughs> I'm freaking hungry. It, like literally just hit me right now. It's like, oh, my stomach hurts. Okay. This rain is so freaking bad, but we need it. We definitely need rain because- All the fires. Yeah, it gives me low key so much anxiety like driving in the rain because this is like the first real rain, huh? The first rain of the season is the worst because all the oil on the ground sits it's on like top lifted. of the water. It's like lifted up, like yeah. off of the street. Well, that's why it sits on top of the water. That's how people hydroplane. I'm like, babe, there. please be careful. Look at how rainy it is, guys. Super rainy. We are currently on our way to Shafter because Bo does have to pay off his ticket. If you guys remember, we got pulled over because Bo wants to have a limo tent all around the caddy. I ain't never had a damn tenant window ticket in my whole life. I've never got one. Instead of Bo actually doing it as a fix it ticket, he's gonna it. just pay it off because. I'll save 50 bucks. Because I'm gonna put it back anyways. It's gonna cost me $250 to remove it and put it back, and then $25 to go pay the fix it ticket, and then I gotta drive out of my way to like do all that shit. I rather pay like going back and forth. I rather pay 75 bucks extra and just keep it how it is. And then we're gonna head back home. My parents, I believe, are going to be coming because they're gonna be picking up more stuff from the old house. I am looking like the Michelin man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I used to have these in stock at Maria Stella Fashion. You guys have actually been asking for it in the orange color. The taupe one did sell out pretty fast, so let me know if you guys want me to restock this style, guys. We actually just dropped off the baby at home because my parents are actually here. We have my dad all the way in the back with us. And my mom was not trying to go to the old house with us. She was like, I'm just gonna stay here with Satan. It's too cold. Also, too, there's nowhere to like, really sit, sit or anything. Everything. Oh, almost. Yeah, we were feeling bad that we we're having to take Zayden in and out because it's freaking raining, it's cold. So, honestly, it just worked out perfectly. But we gotta get the house done. Huh? So, we have to get the house done. Yeah. The goal is to actually get everything done with the house today. Right now, we're actually gonna head over to Arizona Cafe. 
to go eat and drink me a hot little coffee. My dad's never been there. So a little story time. Apa, le decimos la historia que Bo te hizo ayer? <laughs> Como que él no te compró comida? No, Nomás no. comió la hamburguesa en frente de ti? ¿Qué quieres? Dice, dice yo. <laughs> so a little story time, guys, is yesterday I went and took my, my parents to the grocery store. And on the way there, me and my mom, like, we stayed home yesterday and Bo and my dad were together cleaning out like the garage and stuff at the old house and finally like when we we're heading to the grocery store I realized that me and my mom hadn't eaten all we had eaten was literally hot coffee with pan de sal and when I was driving I was like mom are you hungry because I'm starving right and then um, Bo had texted me saying that they were gonna get Burger King or something like that well, I said I'm gonna die. I need to eat something. Well, I had asked her dad, I said, are you hungry? All I knew was that they had just a Burger King. So I was like, ah, but, um, ya comiste, huh? Que garaste? And he's like, what? No comi nada. <laughs> and he starts laughing, like hella laughing. And I'm like, what do you mean to eat nothing, right? He's like, el bo no me entendió. Like, bo didn't understand me. So he got a burger for himself and I didn't eat nothing. <laughs> I felt hella bad. No, so like I said, when we left the house, I said, are you hungry? I said, get us comida. And he said, no, that he had sopa. So I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna give me a burger. So we go to Burger King and I said, do you want a burger? He said, yeah. So I said, okay, cool. So I'm ordering, like he went and just sat down. And I said, hey, you, you don't, don't want to eat? And he said something, but I didn't, obviously I didn't understand. So then I was still ordering, he was sitting down. I said, hey, you don't want a Whopper or something? And he said, no, because I didn't know that he said same as me, that he wanted a chicken oh, sandwich. So <laughs> when, I, when I said, if you want a Whopper or something, he said no. So I was like, all right, he's not hungry. The whole time I thought he, like, because he had said he wasn't hungry and, and like initially, because he had ate sopa, but like, I felt hella like shit. Like, Good, you should. Uh. Once he told me that, I was like, damn, like literally I ate in front of him. I shit. felt so bad because there's such a language barrier there. Like my dad doesn't speak English well, and Mo doesn't the, speak Spanish. When I Spanish. asked if you want to walk for him saying no. Well, yeah. When the hell does my dad ever eat like a burger? Like he always gets like spicy chicken sandwiches, chicken sandwiches. And honestly, my dad doesn't want to be like a inconvenience for anybody like he's just gonna go with the flow yeah, so whatever about like shit i felt hell like shit i was like wow i, I was really like, like how dare you not buy nothing from my dad i even asked him too like <laughs> once i got my food i was like hey like you're not like you don't want to eat anything he said no and i was like but at the end of it, like, we all freaking laughed it out, and I was like, Panda it is, because my parents are obsessed with Panda, especially my mom. Ahorita, pa, te voy a llevar pa que comes bien. Si? Vas a comer más, pues. No, porque. Ya te vas a dar de hambre otra vez. So we're gonna go to Arizona Cafe because honestly, the huevos rancheros with the sauce fire and I'm about to put my dad on my dad's like not picky whatsoever he's like a go with the flow type of guy <laughs> I know me my mom my dad were hella laughing we were like wow can you imagine Bo's all eating the burger my dad's all freaking drooly but like I said, well, when I initially asked him, babe, he said no because he had eaten so far. Yeah, I mean, but at least he had eaten something. In there. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I even explained to Bo. He asked him while they were at the old house. So my dad's not going to be like, yeah, I'm hungry, and then be an inconvenience, and then Bo have to go out of his way to feed him, you know? So if you're already going to go get food, then yeah, my dad's going to eat a burger. You know? Anyways, that was freaking the little story time. The worst son-in-law ever. <laughs> How dare you, man. <laughs> so I have to start off my morning with a hot coffee, guys, because it's so freaking cold outside. And then my dad is starting his morning off with the michelada. Iralo, michelada. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, verdad, pa? It's 5 o'clock. I always see it in the comments, like, I'm a no sabo type of girl, okay? And I say it proudly. <laughs> like, I don't know how to talk, like, Spanish the right way. Like, I talk it, like, slang. Like, hey, at least I can get by a little bit. Everybody talks slang. Yeah. I used to respond to my dad and be like, no sabo. And he's like, is no se. <laughs> Damn, go got some chilequiles. Okay. 
like this fire. Oh, Hello. Huh? Right. He got it with chorizo on top. So I got me the huevos rancheros with the extra chili on the side, the rice and beans. Mm -hmm. My dad got huevos rancheros too. So we are back here at the house and we're here at the old house. Everything's already pretty much like gone literally gone we are going to finish up because bo and my dad actually got everything out yesterday from the garage but bo totally forgot, forgot that there's the stuff top. on top so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to be packing up everything that we are taking already to the house because we have like a lot of stuff on the counter basically we we officially sold the house yes guys so that's what we haven't told you guys yet is our house is officially sold so before it even hit the market yeah before it even hit the market that's crazy, huh? To a family from LA. Yeah, that's crazy. But so now like we have to go through a big old checklist. Like there's a few things we have to fix, a few things we have to replace. I gotta make sure all fire alarms are working. So that one works. I gotta do the, what is it? Carbon, my, carbon, the, carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. I gotta do that. I gotta replace the board in the back that has like water or weather damage. There's quite a bit of stuff that we still have to get done. That's why we've been like so busy just and having to finish it's up It's a 30 here. day escrow and I think we've already been in escrow for what, over a week? A week, yeah. So we're trying, now it's like, we really gotta like push the issue to get everything out. I mean, the whole house is down there empty. Like, yeah. I feel like everything's already like, we, we got drawers, everything pretty much cleaned up. Everything's pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. This whole room is empty. I can't believe how dark this house was. I know. Like now that I was like, like now, I, now I understand why you had a whole bunch of lights. <laughs> but yeah, so. But yeah, such a bittersweet moment, guys. We just wanted to make sure we kept you guys in the loop, and that's what's been going on. I know a lot of you guys were saying like, I thought you guys were never gonna sell the house. Honestly, we, we really didn't want to sell the house, but because this house is literally just sitting here and there's no way that I would feel comfortable renting out our first home. This is our home. This is our memory, so I wouldn't feel comfortable renting it out. And then I know a lot of you guys were like, you guys can Airbnb it. But Technically, you, so they don't make money off you don't. I, Unless it's like... Imagine. like a vacation home like literally where you go vacation and but i mean there's i mean there was possible like there was plenty of ways to make money but honestly the house right now like we'll sell it for the most it's ever gonna sell we sold it for top dollar so i mean our first investment yeah literally huh me and Bo did talk about how we do want to you know start investing in homes obviously the market's so high up right now so we're just gonna sit on the money we told them inflation goes down. they said january the inflation is gonna start going down and potentially already start buying properties, guys. What do you guys see as buying property? Minus Texas. <laughs> Both still trying to move us to Texas. I was like, uh, I'm gonna get homesick out there. Hey, California, you know what I mean? California's also other shit. But let us know what you guys see as buying a property. I was telling you, I really wanna buy a property in Vegas. Because well, we're, we're always in Vegas. We're, we're always in Vegas, Vegas, and I feel like the Raiders are out there, and I feel like a lot of people go party out in Vegas, so I feel like it would make a great Airbnb. Vegas, yes, because it's a tourist, it's a tourist spot, so Vegas obviously would bring income if you buy a property there. Yeah. So you gotta be smart, smart investments. Yes, guys. So we're gonna finish up here, and that this time has come, time. guys. Our house is sold. This is probably the last time we'll, this house will be on any type of video. Yeah. So yeah, because we're already basically done. Like, we are done. I think I have a few things outside to pick up, like some toys and shit, but I need to throw everything on the trailer. We're taking a bunch of shit to the dump. Yeah, but for the most part, everything's already done. Shout out to my parents, guys. My dad has been, like, freaking helping Bo out with, like, all the heavy stuff because that was something that, you know, me and Bo couldn't even take care of ourselves because we constantly have Zayden, so... Like when Zayden starts crying, we have to like hurry up and go pick him up. So I have to stop what we're doing. So today will be the day that, you know, my mom just has Zayden at the house. So we're going to just pick up everything we can and just. Also too, how we go through shit. Yeah, that like, was another we thing. All the boxes up our, top. our room is officially empty. But it's still raining, guys. It's hella rainy. Like saying bye bye to our thing, pool. Don't think that's staying as a trampoline. But everything's already pretty much done, guys. We got the kids' room pretty empty already. So the kids' room. And then the buyers already came. Good thing we had cleaned that day because the buyers came and looked at the house. So everything, like I said, is pretty much empty already. So we do need to take all of this 
all of this is going with us but everything is pretty much empty guys and then we do got to take all of this stuff with us as well but, but we need to go through all of this but for the most part everything's already done we gotta turn all the spectrum shit in everything's pretty much cleaned out over here as well how do you feel babe how do you feel it's time to move out guys <laughs> We're like officially moving out of this home already. So this is like the last thing, guys, is I'm going to have to sit and go through all this. We do have a lot of paperwork. Yeah, so I'm going to go through that while you guys are in the garage. A lot of stuff my dad is going to be taking. Everything's out. But Bo did forget that we have stuff up there that my parents are going to be taking. Because my mom be throwing some lit as yard sales. Apa, ¿verdad que mami siempre hace yard sale y toda la gente dicen que mami tiene el más mejor yard sale? Ah, dicen. Dice? Guys, remember when I used to make bows? <gasps> oh my god, look at the halos. I have hella shit in here. ¿Tú te vas a llevar eso también, verdad? No sé. por qué llevar también? So mucho flowers. Anyways, guys, we are going to finish up and then we'll go ahead and pick up the vlog. We are finally home. I miss my baby so much. Yeah, I did. Mama miss you. I was gone and I was like, I miss my baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You miss mama? Do you miss mama? Yeah. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. He started breaking out on his face. I didn't even realize yesterday that my dad was carrying him. And I had totally forgot that he helped Bo yesterday with the garage and he probably had like hella dust so um, it irritated his skin hi i love you i love you you love mama yeah do you miss mama yeah <laughs> i love you did you miss mama i love you i love you Hi, bebecito. Hi. Hi. Talk to me, bebe. Yeah, I love your beautiful voice. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, my wish. Oh, I miss my baby. I miss my baby. <laughs> this is why I hate doing my makeup, guys, because I just love to cuddle him like this. <gasps> Zayden loves me so much. He's going to be such a mama's boy. <laughs> Bo's face. Hi, my love. Guys, his neck muscles are getting so much stronger already. Look at him. He's already holding up his head. Oh, my goodness. You crazy boy. You crazy boy. <laughs> Are you watching Lola eat? You're watching Lola eat, huh? Yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> He's not watching my mom eat. Top of his hair is actually growing back. He was losing a whole bunch of it every time we would scrub like the top of his head. And I feel like it's barely growing back. I feel like back here, he never lost any hair. Just on the top, but it's already growing back. Huh, my yev? Huh, my yev? I love you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, you're so cute and handsome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love your beautiful voice, my love. Serenity, so I'm guessing your bow came off at school and they just put it right there? Whoa, you build a scary hand. Yeah, baby. That's if, what you got in school? If we break one off, then it'll be one for all of us. <laughs> It's to for her popcorn. This is Sissy's, not yours, bro. Wait, it's candy. So let me guess, Sissy's gonna get the pinky? Mm. <laughs> it only has two pieces. No, I, I get this one, so he gets this one. Yeah, Which that's the middle one. Dude, let's see your picture. Let me see, do it again. Yeah. Now do a sprawl. Let me see your sprawl. Remember the sprawl when you get your legs back? You gotta jump back. No, you don't do it. Do it. Shows your penetration. You, ex you excited for wrestling, bro? <laughs> it's because yeah, boxing. It's not. You're not boxing. You're orthodox in boxing, but like this. 
Yeah, and wrestling. Yeah, fool, that's your sugar stance. Daddy, look at it. Daddy, look at it. He's been boxing too much. You see his boxing stance? Hey, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed today's video. I look a freaking mess. I am ready to freaking shower and call it a night. Oh, my yes. So, who's excited to see where we buy some properties? Because <laughs> I'm, th no. I'm thinking Texas. I'm just still, like, low-key in disbelief that we are selling our... First home. First home. That's where you guys grew up watching us. Oh, that's you know? where it all started. That's where it all started. But don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't shopped at us, always merch. Make sure to do so. Our link is always in the description. Also, too, if you haven't already, follow us on all social medias. Our handles are listed down below. But before we do completely end today's video, our post notification shout out goes to. Goes to Mesh and Pleasure. Shout out to you. And if you guys do want a future post notification shout out, all you have to do is. Be subscribed to our channel, turn post notification, hit the little bell, bing, and comment show them salute. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. He's not watching TV. Is that your twin babe or what? Us always We was doing good, now we doing better. This love I got for you too much, I can't measure. New cars, new crib, we look good together It's us always, but I'm thinking us forever Girl, you got what I need Racing for your love, I'm going high speed I can put you on, can play for my team Once you get a taste, you tell me don't